All right, let's talk about trapping the post. They have a really good post player. So we're not going to front, we're going to play behind, and we're going to bring the guard down to help us out. It might be a high-low situation. Generally, I think that's what most people are running. So ball goes to the wing. They've got a high post. So ball goes to the wing. And we talked about it before. She's supposed to come down and bump in that passing lane. Um, but, you know, let's, let's say for the sake of this drill that, that they got somebody over here. So what we did was we bumped in this passing lane. They didn't throw that. But now we haven't quite gotten there, and the ball got into the post. So when the ball gets into the post, X1 was here on the ball, X2 is coming over, you always have the ball side elbow. Whether there's somebody there or not does not matter. You're always on the ball side elbow. So what we do is we're playing behind this guard, the guard that's not on the ball, the one on the free throw line. On the pass, she's going down to trap. So we have a trap coming with here. In the center. The center's job is to force her back to the guard. You cannot give up baseline. So you might for a second be just a little bit on this side, forcing her back right into the guard. Okay, um, obviously if you have some bigger guards, it's a much better trap. When that happens, okay, the ball's gone in. Ball's here. We got our trap. We're all set. This person at the top, really open, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to sprint this guard back to the top. She's got a little bit of this guy, and she's got a little bit of this guy. And this is, again, scouting report. If this is a great shooter, then maybe you just want to come to here. The wing has anything that comes down the middle. So let's say, for example, um, she made a cut or she made a cut. doesn't matter. Whoever makes a cut, this guy on the weak side, you have to get into the middle. If the ball, we, we really don't want the ball to go back out. So we're, we're going to probably lean a little bit here. So... X2 is going to hang here. She's got both of these guys. Three's probably got to take a little more of the guy in the corner. Um, this, is a, this is an easy pass, and, you know, it's one, if this is a non-shooter especially, it's one we're willing to give up. Um, but you've got to have a lot of movement. So what we do for our dummy trap, we come out in the beginning. We set up like this. All we're going to do is throw the ball in the post and trap. Okay, so it's dummy, dummy trap, which is a drill we do almost every day. Ball starts here, guards on the ball. Pass it back to the top, guards here, pass it back, wing is out and in, we're throwing it in the post. Guard went to double. Okay, she's ready to go down to double with the center, and this guy's coming over inside. So we're just we're just reversing the ball, throwing it in. Getting the double team. She's probably going to cut because she's on the high post now. Guards trapping. The, here's the difficult part of the trap. And this is, it, it just is really hard for them to really figure this out. Your guy that was here has bumped back. She didn't do her job and let the ball get in there. So now we don't want to trap with her. She's got ball side. So she's got to get back out and really almost deny this pass. So she's supposed to take this away no matter where she goes. She's pretty much playing man-to-man. -man. Anticipating a cut down the lane, she's inside. The other guard now is sprinting back to the middle. This guy's going down. And this guard now has both of these guys. This should be a really tough pass. If you got a good trap, that's a tough pass. Plus, these guys are here. She's got to throw it over them to try to get that. So this becomes kind of the more likely pass. So this guard is kind of hiding, not ta taking it away because you want to invite the pass and then steal it. So she's waiting to see where it goes. And no, no matter where it goes, she's got the next pass. So if she would somehow get the ball here, she's got it as if we've already bumped. She's coming back up, and we are right back into our 2-3 zone uh, with this guy going to the block.